Welcome folks on YouTube. I want to try to explain what it means for function composition to be associative. All right. So I'm going to consider three functions, f, g, and h. And I've set up their input spaces and their output spaces so that you could do one after the other. So you could apply f first to get something in b. And then you could apply g to take that thing in b to get something in c. Etc. All right. So let's draw. Um, let's draw a picture. And 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 then we'll do a proof. Okay, we're going to prove this fact in a moment. So we have set a. We have set B, we have set C, and finally, we have set D. F takes any element in A and gives us something in B. G takes anything in B and gives us something in C. And finally, H gives us, can take anything in C and gives us something in D. All right. If we only had F and G, we sort of talked already how you could take F and G and combine them together to get a function from A to C, okay? We see how you could do that. You could take F and G, combine them together, and you get a function from A to C. If we only had G and H, same thing. You could combine G and H together to give you a function from B to D. Okay. All right. When I have all three of these functions in a row, intuitive you, intuitively, you would say, yeah, there's only one way you could co combine all three of these functions together to get from A to D, right? To get a function from A to D, what do you do? First, you apply F then you apply G and then you apply H and you get all the way from A to D, okay. But let me explain what this associativity is saying. Okay, so let me talk about the left-hand side and then let me talk about the right-hand side. So LHS is for left-hand side, which is H composed with G composed with F. And RHS is for the right-hand side, H composed with G composed with F. All right. So on the left-hand side, what I'm doing is I'm first combining H with G. OK. When I combine H with G, I get a function that goes all the way from B to D. And then if I wanted to, I could tag F on the front. What's going on on the right-hand side? On the right-hand side, I'm first composing F with G to get a function all the way from A to C. And then I'm tagging H on at the end. Okay. So, what this is a saying is that if I compose these two maps to get a map from A to D, that's the same as composing these two maps to also get a, a map from A to D. Let's prove it. Okay, so proof that H composed with G composed with F is equal to H composed with G composed with F. Okay, but in different orders, as I've outlined here versus here. All right, how do you prove that two functions are equal? You show that on any input, they get the same output. So what we'll do is we'll say, let A be an arbitrary element in set A. And then we'll say, Note, let's, let's apply the first, the left-hand side to that. 
So take the left-hand side and apply that to A. Okay, then we're gonna do a bunch of work. We're gonna say that's equal to something, which is equal to something else, which is equal to something else, um, which is equal to something else. And this last thing will be the right-hand side applied to A. Okay. And now when the left-hand side applied to any input is the same as the right-hand side applied to any input, that means that the two functions are the same. Um, yeah. How's it going? All right, so the, let's do the algebra. This is H composed with G applied to F of A, which is H applied to G of F of A. And now what is, what is G of F of A? G of f of a is g composed with f applied to a, right? So leave the h of untouched, but g of f of a by definition is g composed with f of a, okay? And then what is h of g composed with f of a? That's just h composed with g composed with f applied to a. So <laughs> this might feel a little to you like alphabet soup, but we've proven that if you have uh, three functions in a row, then there's really only one way to map from the very initial input space A to the very final output space D. Intuitively, it's clear. You do F and then G and then H. But in terms of grouping functions together, if you grew H with G together first before putting F on the front, or if you group G and F together before tagging H along on the back, then here's our algebraic verification that those two give the same function. All right, let me stop, stop there. Public questions? All right. Thanks, everybody.